All right, so I did one before, but now I'm just going to go through it and just show you. I'm not, you guys know about tanks, I don't know a bloody thing. So I'm just going to go through here kind of slowly. I'm not really going to talk much or whatever, and I'm just going to let you see the tanks and see whatever the hell they are. And you guys are a bunch of tank freaks, or a lot of you guys are tank freaks. I am not a, I don't know. I'm surprised at how small they are, actually. Some of them are. Jesus Christ. Okay. I don't know if the category is DO2 or DOZ. Yeah. The Sherman, it says. Jesus Christ, that's huge. How many people fit in that thing? What is this thing? A Panzer V. Christ, on a crutch. That is big. What are these things? They look more modern ish. I like this guy. What is that French tank? Tank? No, I don't know what it is. 1940. Canada used the M1917 to train tank crews for its rapidly growing army. I like this. I kind of got a. It's not like the. There was a French tank like this, World War One one. Like I said, I'm just kind of going through here and let you guys see. Well, I just saw an alien ship though. The A lot of glare. Oh, cool! I get to see inside it. See inside it. Interesting. Oh, nice! Get to work on the charts there, the map. Sorry. Wicked! Oh my God, that is so cool. I'm just thinking now about hex to hex with his uh, being able to read military maps. Like I said, I'm starting to try to learn how to do that. I uh, hope I'll talk about it next week on uh, the next week's live stream. Whoa, what is this? This is a self propelled howitzer. Jesus Christ. A lot of. I don't know, to me, it just looks like a lot of things where my. An appendage could just be ripped right out of the socket, or I'm going to be an amputee off and quick. <coughs> Holy Christ, look at the size of that gun. Yeah. Fuck. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have sworn. Jesus, Murphy. Unless it's a naval gun or something. Over here, all these different guys. Impressive. Yep. Wow. Yeah, I'm just using my little uh, yield, the original video uh, portable camera there. Snagging. When I started doing the live streams from way back when. Oh, 
I'll try to keep it at roughly eye level. I mean, they're impressive. It's just, uh, like I said, I'm, my brain is in World War One. What do you want? Oh my, and look what's happened here, eh? Just as I say that. Oh, nine deck at five. She's nice to see with the different sides. I like this one to 48. Oh, I see there. But she's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it's like a Harrier, but worse. Oh, look, it looks at, the, like look at this. The Albatross. Yeah. 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 It was real. Very well like It had a range of like 90 miles. Now I go back to try to pseudo head level. This is for some kind of. Uh, I think they they said there was. Uh, I remember uh, reading up on uh, the World War One tanks. I can't remember what they're called. These big stacks of uh, wicker and whatnot that they had, and they used them. Uh, they had them on top of the tank, and then they dropped them down to um, plug up the hole, so that way the uh, the tank could go across the trench. Of course, then the Germans clued in and started extending. <laughs> Making their trenches uh, a little bit wider and uh, this little arms race back and forth, eh? Goodness gracious. Yeah. I think as Hex to Hex said he was a tank, uh, he was part of a tank crew. Oh my goodness, what the hell is this thing? What the hell is this thing? A midget submarine. Jesus. Look at this. My, oh my. The Germans developed the Molch, or Salamander class of midget submarine. Screw this, I want this for World War I. I'd like to get the Germans in my universe to start making this. I like those Charles IV, uh, Italian human torpedo things. Look at this. What the hell is this thing? Great Eastern Ramp. The Great Eastern Ramp could unfold to allow vehicles to pass from below to high ground. <laughs> that is one clunker of a machine. Oh, you got a little diorama of it. Cool. Neat. Okay, now I get it. Well, they certainly do have a lot of vehicles, don't they? Oh my gosh, what is that freaky thing? It looks some kind of a nope. It's a it's a snowmobile. I'll go show it to you. Oh wow, look at that. A little mobile command center or something? Yep. Lieutenant General HDG Carrera's Caravan. Yeah. Yeah, the first Canadian Army in 1944-1945 used this trailer as a mobile office. Neat. Oh, oh, my battery's starting to go. I think I better have to do something quick. I want to show you the snowmobile before it goes to hell. Oh, change the battery. Look at this guy. This cool. Change the battery. 